Hello and welcome to episode 122 part 1 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be a unique episode and one I hope to make many more of in the future. Um, I was in the process of doing um, pottery but I thought I would interrupt that because this is something, like I say, rather unique and rather fantastic. So to explain what this is all about, I am currently on Dennis's server. Dennis is the person who has been watching some of my worm videos and uh, he started playing worm in May of this year, 2016, and he, like I, um, loves the game of worm and all that you can do in it. So he sent me a message to ask if I'd like to come and visit and see some of his creations or what he's been getting up to. And bear in mind that he only started playing in May of this year. So you'll be, you should hopefully be quite amazed to see just what he has achieved in such a short space of time. Anyway, so I was messaged uh, a while back uh, by someone else asking if I'd like to come and visit. And I did want to go and visit them. And I was trying to arrange it so Rainstorm could come along as well. Because I know that you all, all like to hear a bit from Rainstorm. But sadly, it got a little complicated because Rainstorm's very busy with work. Not only that, she's obviously in a different country different continent to me so it proved to be a bit difficult so whoever it was though i've lost your name so i don't know who you were but if you'd like to recontact me i will arrange a visit to your server just like i'm doing today with uh, dennis so here i am i'm visiting wolfridge which is the name of dennis's uh, server and we're going to take a look around and he's going to show us all the stuff that he's been creating. So what I will do now is say to Dennis, uh, introduce yourself by saying hello. So let's see if I can find where Dennis is standing. Where are you? Hello, I'm right behind you. Right, yes, so thank you very much, uh, Dennis, for inviting me to your world. Now, Dennis has created a few alts uh, to make life easier, which is something I strongly recommend. So you will see other characters, no doubt, dotted around. But I thought the way that we will start this uh, episode is what Dennis is going to do is something else unique, which I've not shown in any of the previous episodes on Worm. Dennis is going to uh, hitch up two hell horses to a cart and that's what we're going to use to travel around so i thought that would be uh, quite a bit of fun to watch the process because i've not done that so here we go dennis is now going to get two hell horses and attach them to his cart and then we'll be able to use them to travel around for this the rest of this video now you, you can only use uh, adolescent hell horses it's only kind that will work on a cart all oh, right thank you for mentioning that because i did forget so you'll see loads of other hell horses but they're all aged or venerable you can only like dennis says use adolescent fortunately dennis has two adolescent don't you somewhere yeah yep yeah. i'm just trying to find the second one right now <laughs> yeah well that's okay you've got a lot of horse pens eh? i have a lot of horses here yes. i found them mature oh you found her yeah yes okay. kiss bouncer i found her see all of these hell horses that he's got how fantastic is that check that out he's got loads oh i wish i had loads there's a you there's do. enough here though yeah there's enough here all right and what a fitting color for the cart red i like that that's so, why I did this car, the color. It works so good with the horses. So All just, right, now I... So, sorry, Dennis, just so people know, did you have to, before you hitched these hell horses to the cart, did you have to tame them? Uh, no, the first time when, I, when you get hell horses, you have to tame them. Um, I spent hours and hours and hours to get my taming skills up. You have to have 70 plus and unfortunately a few of them died in the process of doing so but once i got a pair of them over here then it was once you once you reach 70 after you get them here they don't require taming anymore uh -huh. and when you when you have to uh breed them then you have to tame one of them 
All put right. them next to the other one, and the one will fight the one that's tame because it's a tame male horse. Ah, uh, right. It yes. will fight it while it's going through the breeding process, but oh, once it's done breeding, then you must remove the tamed one from the pen, put it in another pen, and then heal it so that it doesn't oh, have any damage to it. I see. And Excellent. Then, and then you can remove the, the um, you can remove the taming process, you know, put it back to being on its own again. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you for explaining that, by the way, because no doubt there'll be a lot of people who will want hell horses for their carts. Of course, we're going to get the added benefit of the extra speed, aren't we? Because they're faster than normal horses. They're a little, yes, they're faster, and, and, and especially if being pulled by um, a cart. Mm. Now, for some dumb reason, I um, got a glitch here. I have to log, and I'll be right back. Okay, no problem. I'm going to climb on the cart while I'm waiting, okay? Okay. I'll go on as passenger, obviously, because I don't know where we're going to be going. So I'll wait for you to get back. They do look rather cool, though, these hell horses. Definitely. Very cool. I have to do episodes on taming all the different creatures in actual fact at some point. All right, now I should be able to get on. I don't know why I had it. Every once in a while, I get a glitch. Yeah, occasionally, yeah. it happens in Worm. You just like you do, just log off, log back in. It's quick and easy. Okay, so right. where are we going to start off? Obviously, all of this around us. Is this where you very first started when you joined this, this is my, world? I, yes, I, I like you said before. I started the game in May, but I started it on a private server. I mean, a public server, and. The server I was on for about three weeks, and I had a very good friend of mine who said he could make me my own personal server, and because I had extra computers, so he made me a computer, uh, a server on my one of my computers, How which fantastic. I dedicate for that purpose only, and nice. that's why I have the server now. And uh, I'm like I said, I'm the only one on this server. I would love other people to come and join me, but it's you know. It's, it's where I started to really learn how to play the game. Well, hopefully now people this... who watch this episode will send you a message and ask if they come and jo can come and join you on your server. Sure. Um, do you keep your server on all the time, or is it limited to uh, certain times? I really li I usually, in the beginning I was leaving it on 24-7, but now it's like it's limited because it's just me. Why well, run it when I'm not True. playing and there's nobody else here? But if someone if joined you... If I had other you... people very interested in being in here and playing then that would be a situation where I would leave it run 24-7. Oh, okay. okay, just so they know. So, yeah, hopefully you'll well, have some This people building listen. here that we're going into, this was uh, one of the... Oh, this is cool. Well, a building I needed just, just to make furniture and kind of... I just, I love building, so I wanted an excuse to build another building. Yeah, this and is... And it's the only building I ever built with a full roof. Oh, right, you will okay. All the buildings <laughs> don't have a full roof. Wow. But I wanted to see what it would look like to build one with a complete roof. I see. It does. It looks very cool. Yeah. I like it. And I like the way you've layered, uh, got two tiers inside the building. You've like got a second floor. That right. Is... Well, this actually, to get the roof all the way across, you have to build that floor all the way ah. across. Oh, okay. And uh, I recommend if anybody wanted to do that, the best way to do it is a ladder floor. Use this type of a floor every one will be ladders everywhere if you know what i mean mm. because it takes less material and they're fast to pop up you know like it takes 10 planks to build the floor but oh, it only takes five planks to build a ladder all oh, right so yeah so yeah. be quick and so they're easy to break down <clears> too so once you get your roof completed then you just break the center floors out I like what you've done with the open fireplace and the bookcases either side and the little chairs there with the bear rug. <laughs> That's, That's what really I was doing, cool. trying to practice and see yeah. how it would look, you know, and, and making different furniture like a round yeah. table, like there's a round marble table oh, and yeah. a square marble table. And, and I have over here pap, uh, tapestries. You can see that there's a Where green are tapestry. Right oh, I one of them. see. Yeah, that's cool. And there's a... There's one another tapestry over here. Oh, that's nice. Medieval. I do yeah. like that one. Then there is another one over here by these furniture. Oh, wow, so, yeah. And, see the, and all these 
cabinets, you can actually use them. You can put these in your bedroom and put clothes in them, whatever, leather clothes. Oh, so you can use them for storage. That's yes, for cool. storage, yeah. They all work for storage. So, but that's this room. And so it's, you're limited on your time, so we'll head off. So the, how long did it take you just quickly to build all of that? That building and all of what's in it? That building there, I think, took me probably three days. Three days. And how about everything inside? All the furniture, fireplace? Oh, I messed around with that here and there, maybe a week. Oh, I see. The fireplace only takes like 15 minutes. Oh, okay. 10, 15 minutes, okay. yeah. Cool, you did a good job. I do. Uh, I just love building things. So when you get good at building things, things get really easy as long as you have the material. Mm. Cool, you so. must have done a ton of mining. Yes, Plus, I again. have. I have over on this particular settlement uh, five mines. Wow! You going to show then, us uh, one of them mines? I can do that. Yes, I yeah. have. Uh, well, let's go this way. I'll show you one down here. Okay. This is the very first building I ever built right here in front of right. me. And look, you know, look. Um, it's just a regular house. Yeah. But it was my very first one. It has the bedrooms upstairs, so you can get your sleep bonus with nice. sleeping. Nice. So, um, this is my very first bridge. You did I real built. good for your very first house. Good job. I want to yeah, look at the bridge. Yeah, there's the first bridge I ever built. Nice. Actually, it's the really the only big bridge I ever built. Yeah, now, I'm planning on building others. But did you build the bridge on your own with a? Yeah, with, you just did by myself. Yeah. So, because a lot of people asked, is it possible to do the bridges on your own? And it is because well, you just. I got have to, an alt. And she's right here. You can see her right standing here. Her name is Amber. And uh, Amber holds the pole for me. And then I held the um, diopler on one end. And she was holding the pole on the other end. And then once I started building this, all Amber does is go back to my storage facility and grab materials that I require, like brick and stone and mortar, and bring it to me. So I just kept right on working. Never had to stop until done the bridge was done. Good job on that bridge there. Very good job. <laughs> I'm amazed, really, at such short notes. You know, only three or four months of play, and you've managed to make a structure which I would really call an advanced structure. Um, but you See, did a real good job. You did notice these hell horses, we are pushing th almost 36 kilometers an hour. An hour. Oh, wow, yeah, look at the speed. Yeah, we are really <laughs> moving with these hell horses. <laughs> they, are, they get a bonus. So cool, kind of yeah. Neat. And you got horseshoes, have you, on them? Now, these don't because they're, they're babies. Oh, so this is just the bare rate speed yeah. and we're yeah, doing 30. this is the 30... bare rate speed. You put shoes on them, they go even faster. Wow. Oh, so here's one of, is this your first mine? Yes, but this is actually my second mine, but I'm All showing right. this one because it's probably the best one. Okay. And easiest to see. Yeah. But uh, there's tunnels going off in all different directions. <laughs> And, uh, You've had I a mean, lot of I've fun got in there. Silver in here, and there's yeah. iron ore in here. Have you got all of the ores? Ah, uh, yes. Well, um, some of them I had to go into town and buy the the rod of trans. Is that transformation? Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, the is it the rod of transmutation? Your transmutation. That's it. Yes. Oh, okay. The rod of transmutation. You can like, like you can just go up to any of these walls. Um, it's best to use the. Uh, um, a uh, high grade wall and that's rock and then you can turn it to anything um, well not to anything but you can turn it to marble iron um, tin copper oh zinc, okay and but you can't change it to adium or glimmer steel those you can't change so, so people will be asking then well where did you get that rod how did that come about uh, if your server has a town on them and they have traders Every one, there's always at least one trader that sells them. I see. So yeah. the person who set up the server, they put in place a load of traders in your town. Yes. Right. Okay. So that's just so everyone understands how you got that. Yeah, oh. I have a I have a friend who built the server, and he's also the same gentleman who came in, and he wanted to play around making a town, and he asked me if I could, if he could, and I said, Oh my God, yes. <laughs> and so he built me a town, and if people wish to see it uh, we can show them but Fantastic. it's a beautiful job he did yeah and um, that that's where I go to get all the magic boxes and everything so I this, see. this 
people have seen mines before, and I don't want to waste too much time in here, but this is just the, uh, one of my mines, and I have, okay. like I said, five in this area. And um, I like. I have all, like, here, here's, there's marble right here, and this one here, see, like, there's salt in this one. The, oh, I like so the way, have, yeah, you've used the signpost to I tell the quality. To, they get it. Well, when you right click and do, um, um, when you right click with your mining tool and you could do a, I'm trying to think of the word, um, prospect, mm. it will tell you what's in there. And, mm. and my skills of prospecting are so high that it actually gives me a count. Oh, know, okay. I, I number. I have a rough estimate of how much is in there. So my skill is over 70 on prospecting. Well, good job on the mine, that's for sure. But yeah, and then and my property goes way down there. I got a huge property, 115 by 115. <laughs> that and is a fantastic size. 170. Yeah. Because I have my property going all the way down by the, wow. to the sea. Yeah. Why not? It's your server. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, my go server. for it. Nobody hear about me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Here's the very first time I ever made. Uh, a platform over water. Didn't know how to do it. Oh, your very first land bridge. This is my first land bridge, yeah. Nice. And then you can see I have rice down in there, and um, oh, that yeah. was the first time I ever played around with doing that, so it gave me uh, ideas, which you're going to see down the What's road. with all the tombstones over there? Ah, that's... I was in the beginning. I've killed 278 trolls so far. <laughs> And these, when I first started killing trolls, I was putting the gravestones over here, because it was just like, just fun. But yeah, if you look at some, yeah. There's a there's champion trolls in here, and and I have a champion goblin in here, and then there's a oh yeah, hell, there's a champion. There's, uh, lava fiends in here. Um, they lava fiends show up inside your mines if you got big mines, just in case anybody was wondering what. Some of the creatures you can get in your mind. Oh, yeah. Lava spiders, lava fiends, cave I, bugs. I like them lava uh, creatures because you see them and you hear them. You know, like from a oh. distance, you'll, you'll hear oh. the fire burning and you'll see glowing. And, oh, it's so oh. cool. Now, here is, on the left, you'll notice a gravestone that says uh, Red Dragon Hatchling. It was the very first dragon that I ever killed, and it was also the very first creature in the game that killed me so tell us all how you killed a dragon because everyone's well, going to be asking that how on earth well, did you kill I a had dragon? a friend of mine who he, he this is a long time ago but my buddy when I, I was like I didn't know how to deal with a dragon and I contacted him and he go because he was playing on a different server mm. and he jumps into my server and we're look trying to figure out how we're gonna kill it and the way we did it was because you can make alts. And let me tell you, alts are extremely valuable when you want to kill dragons <laughs> because you sacrifice your alts to keep your own main character alive. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you fill your wagon up with, you can carry up to four alts. Everybody comes standard with a shield and sword and, so you, and some kind of ar armament. And you stand at a distance. Now what happened was that the Red Dragon got trapped on my bridge here. So oh, we, did it? Yeah, he got trapped on the bridge. So he couldn't, somehow, I don't know why, but he was trapped on the bridge. And we were right over here on this spot, right here. And my buddy got his wagon with three alts in his, and I got my wagon with, or cart, I'm sorry, a cart here, with three alts. And then we, from this distance, we aggro, you know, targeted the dragon. All right. Once we had both, everybody had targeted the dragon, we ran up on the dragon, and of course everybody starts fighting the dragon, but you, I did it in a way where I turned the rear of my dragon cart towards the dragon, so they were the first to die. <laughs> you sacrificed the old. But they were yeah. the first to die. Yeah. But that allowed me to, and my friend to kill the dragon oh well done. and there's a good point to this because when you kill a dragon with many alts everybody gets equal shares of the dragon leather oh well fantastic the dragon kill that's absolutely brilliant because that... and that's how you see the outfit that i'm wearing yes is made from that dragon that i killed <laughs> now that is cool because <laughs> you're actually wearing the dragon you, the dragon you you're, you're talking yeah. about <laughs> yeah. And it was funny because he got into this house that you see, the very first house I built. Oh, this destroyed house. Destroyed five or six walls in that house. 
And then over here is my forge area. You can see my big garden in the tower, but the guards do not help. If anybody ever thinks that guards or your Templar guards will help you fight a dragon, they do not. <laughs> you are on your own if yep. you angle with a dragon. So the, the alts, like I said, helped me uh, a lot trying to fight them. Now this is my forge area. This is where 90% of everything I built came from in this room. Oh wow, yeah, fantastic layout. I like the oh. way you've structured it. Very, very good. Three forges on the go at once. I like yeah, that. Well, over here is five forges. These are for oh, the iron. All nice. the stuff I do with iron. And the three forges over here are for the metals, like when you make coal piles to make steel. Ah, uh, okay. Copper. Yeah. And I'm blending copper and tin to make bronze or brass. So. That's and then I'm, whenever I come in, I, that's why I needed three smelters because I come with a loaded load of iron and or whatever ore that I have, and then I throw it in there and go back out and continue mining and then Good come idea. back here. That's how you can get a lot done. Wow, yep. really efficient. I'm done. And then the second part of this building is a storage area. That's all it is. See, it bends all the way around. Oh the wow! Look at that. Check that out. I thought I was a hoarder. <laughs> You make uh, me look I, like someone who doesn't collect anything. Yeah. And wow. I'm running out of room because you can see I had a, a, a chest over here. Now, these chests are all right. I mean, they help me get my fine uh, carpentry skill up when you make chests and everything. Oh, the large chests. But, okay. Yeah, the large chests. But they don't, anything you put in them still takes damage. You know? Oh, that's not good. So that's why I get these things called magic chests. And you get these from their trader in town then uh, the magic chest is the reason that you get those is because anything you put in them, like flowers, uh, leather, you know, whatever. Uh, can I open one? You get from your can I plant. open one of them chests so people can yes. just see the size? They're, they're, none of them are locked. They should be easily accessible. I just want to open one so I can show you people see, like, the size. In, That's it. Knife. That's good enough. Yep. Yeah, okay. That is cool. And nothing that you've got in there will take any damage. No, we'll take no damage. No. Very, very cool. Thank you, Dennis. Thank the you. The only thing that would be damaged is what you put in there. But damage when you put it in there, it will remain at whatever you put it at. I see. Yeah. So you can fix it. Now, you notice this is my horse stable. This I have my pride and joy. Oh, wow. And if you look to my right, you will see I have a baby unicorn. Oh, wow. Pregnant. Cool. And if, the one unicorn to the right is a greenish unicorn, and the one on the left is a regular unicorn. And I got a regular unicorn baby. Oh, that's so cool. So you've started breeding unicorns. Unicorn, um, yeah. You're creating a zoo, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm Fantastic. working on it. Well, when this you finished it, I'll have to pens. show it. Oh, wow. How many horses have you got in there? I have no idea. I just, every time I go out exploring, I find a beautiful horse. Oh, I gotta have it and bring it back. <laughs> so, just while we're in here, I noticed that you've got all fields of potatoes. And, yes. I, and I remember you mentioning something about how you keep all your animals fed. Do you want to just share with people how you've achieved that? Yeah, uh, instead of using grass, because I like the. the I think you get fatter animals. If you notice that every one of my horses, every animal you see in anywhere, all have the word fat in it because they get fatter by eating the potatoes than they would <laughs> over regular grass. And I have a yeah. mod on my server that allows all vegetation, garden stuff, never to die. So it won't rot away. So you will just you plant it and it will stay there. So oh, there you it. are, everyone. If you want to yeah. do the same as what Dennis has done here, it, what's the name of the mod? Do you know at all, Dennis? No, I, I, I really don't. I okay. have to. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter. At least people know now that there is a mod out there that will keep all their crops um, like this in a right And state. every horse you see here, you can find in the game. They're out there. I Like I said, I risk life and limb on some of these horses. This is beautiful. People. The white and black one. That yeah, is just, I love it now. That's the nicest horse I think I've seen I have, so far. I have five star, what do you call it? Is that five star horse? Five speed. Five speed. I have several five speed horses oh, in here. Oh, nice. And I have some of that aren't. They're, you know, you get a mixture. Just like a, I love like the black ones and the black and white. Yeah, black and, then and white. And my uh, other favorite is this one right here with the white white socks. The brown oh, yeah. With the white I socks. see. Yeah. So uh, I, I really love horses, so 
And so I put a big area here for them. They got, and every time they get a, a baby gets born, they all get a unique name to them. Oh yeah. Let me see uh, if I can find a baby. Yeah, it's a taffy babies. window. See, there. like this one right here, right in front of me, the black and white one. It's got a name on it. Oh, <laughs> what's that? Fast Fast, what it, fast, fast Abbas. Abbas? <laughs> Yeah, Abbas. Fast Abbas. So, you can always tell which horse is ones that I've bred because when you put your mouse on, they have a name on them. If yeah, they don't Abbas have a name from... on it, then they'll just say fat horse. But if they have a name to it, like there's there's hop hop pots, you know, <laughs> that means I bred that was one that was raised here in captivity. Mm. Cool, you have got a lot of horses. Here's one over here. Yeah, let's see yeah, I have a lot of them. A lot of horses. And this is only on this settlement. There's other settlements. That yeah, so this is your first settlement, isn't first it, settlement, that you've built yeah. up? You've done a lovely job. Look at that with the fields. I'm going to go by my zoo over here. Yeah, where's this your zoo? This is the start of it, anyways. All right. Now, this was supposed to be for a champion black bear, which I had a chance at yesterday, and he got away. <laughs> so, now this one here is my champion bear which I'm very disappointed in saying is not very big for a champion brown bear. Oh, I see. see I can bring him over here to the cage. Oh, I see. He was hiding. He's not very big. In fact, I thought no, it was the mountain not. lion you were showing us. Yeah. Now, he's going to come over here now. Yeah, he's just like a normal size. Yeah, he's a normal size bear. And that is very disappointing. I mean, that he almost killed me trying to get him. <laughs> and... Uh, I didn't realize he was even a champion at the time. Mm. Well, you wouldn't because he looks no, because he's so the small. Same. Yeah. Now look at the size of the mountain lion. He's oh, big. Oh yeah, he is huge. You know, so that's what it's kind of you know mind throwing. And over here we have the cat, a champion wild cat. Isn't it a wolf in this one? I can only see yeah, a wolf. And the next one oh, I see. Is a wolf. Yeah. No, the cat was in the wall then. Yeah, the way yeah, he's part. If you look on the left wall there, you see him. I he's see. part in and part out. If you move the cart just slightly forwards, that's yeah, it. That should get it. Yeah, there it? he is. Aged fat champion wildcat. Yeah. And they're yeah, normally pretty... tiny little things, aren't they? Yeah, real tiny. You, they're normally really hard to spot. Um, but this one, look out! He's huge. He is huge. Yeah. He's the very first champion animal cute. I ever got. He looks cute, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, looks like a regular house cat. It's yeah, he does. He looks like a house cat. Yeah. Okay, That's and then funny. over here, of course, is my champion wolf. He is huge. He's yeah. got a bad disposition all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get a better view for you, but yeah, he's... Uh, and he it, it takes a lot of work to keep these guys fed. I just put a 100 meat in there yesterday, and each one of them is max that I can carry on them. Wow, yeah, no, that is one big, big wolf. And so you, what, you feed them 100 meat a day? Yeah. Uh, no, I, they, 100 meat will last them about two weeks. Oh, that's cool. That's all yeah. right. That's doable, isn't it? But I was just here yesterday putting that bear in there. So I, and I went out and I hunted a whole bunch of animals and brought back and dumped all the meat in them. So they all had plenty of meat and whatever I had left extra is in the last cage. So people or, are going to be wondering, what's your um, taming at, your pet taming, animal taming? Uh, my taming's at 70.02. And is that what you needed for the unicorns? The unicorns, yes. You, I have, see. you have to have 70 to do unicorns. So what's next in your, uh, in line for your zoo? Uh, black bear, that's what this is. Oh, you want the black bear, all right. Uh, champion black bear. And or champion uh, crocodile, if I, whatever comes first, whichever one I want now, to cross first. Now, that would be funny to watch, <laughs> you doing a champion crocodile. Oh, I'd like that. Buddy of mine came, he was on here one time, and he goes, you can ride them. And he goes, no, you can't. He says, yes, you can. So he went over and he teamed one, and he got on and rode around. Oh, yeah, you can ride them. As comical as can be. <laughs> So uh, he made a liar out of me. <laughs> so what's all this then? Where we're going now? Now up here, this up here is, I I was getting to a point before I actually started my second settlement. Um, I I wanted to build another area. Just I don't know. I just wanted to build something. And mm. the first when I first started building this building, it was originally for a place to make healing covers. 
to separate all the components requirements for healing covers. Oh, what well, good and idea! Put up. And then I figured I'd make storage too. So that's what this was. Or that's what I made this for. So if you look over here, this FPS right here is all uh, components in there for doing. Um, for making healing covers and if you look inside it you can look right in there you will see that there are uh, hearts in there and all other stuff black oh, mushrooms. I see yeah nettles garlics when I was killing those lava fiends inside my mines that were everywhere they drop hearts they're the only creature I know of that drops a heart oh right okay the lava fiends and if you drop one heart in there you get 20 hearts oh nice yeah, so you actually, you know, you take that, those hearts that I got in there, you got to divide that by 10 or 20, I think it is. Divide that by 20, and that's how many I actually got. So. Well, sorry to interrupt you here, but the time for 30 minutes has gone. So what I'll do, I can't keep recording, because obviously there's some people in the world who have very slow internet, and 30 minutes is pushing it. So what I'll do, though, this is only part one. There is still loads more, isn't there, for us to see yes. of, of oh. your world. So what we'll do is I'll end this episode here for part one, and we'll have a part two um, for... The, to show us some more of your world so uh, to end this episode though if you'd just like to say uh, goodbye to everyone goodbye and thank you for showing come in and seeing my world <laughs> they're going to see a lot more of it well thank you all for uh, joining us on this tour of uh, Dennis's world Wolfridge you can see how amazing and you can see with the animals down there and the zoo that he's building and hopefully we'll be able to show that in the next episode um, his black champion bear and a crocodile would be totally amazing so um, that leaves a lot for us to see in the next part but anyway thank you for joining us wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye